And we start right here in Germany, where it is looking increasingly likely that Angela Merkel's conservatives, conservatives will not be part of the next government. Just over a week on from the election, both the Green Party and the Free Democrats, also known as FDP, say they will now seek further concrete talks with the election winners, the Social Democrats, in the hope of delivering a governing coalition for Germany as soon as possible. After a first round of exploratory talks in which parties got together for bilateral meetings, it was the Greens who came out with an opening gambit, announcing that they were keen to take negotiations to the next level. After these initial talks, we deliberated and with a view to the common ground that we managed to find in our bilateral meetings, we have come to the conclusion that it now makes sense to deepen our conversation with the FDP and the SPD. And that is what we will now propose to the FDP, for all three parties to get together and talk. The leader of the business-friendly FDP promptly agreed. We have accepted the offer of further talks with the SPD to sound out common ground that will push our country forward. And the Chancellor candidate for the Social Democrats was confident that the three parties could stand for that change. The citizens of this country have given us a mandate to form a government together. The most recent polls indicate again and again that this is the will of the people. It's now on us to put this into practice. It's about building a government that will enact change and the necessary modernization in Germany. For the Conservatives of outgoing Chancellor Angela Merkel, this could spell the end of their 16 years in government. Led by candidate Armin Laschet, they came second to the Social Democrats and suffered their worst ever election result. But German coalition negotiations are notoriously fragile. After the last election, initial talks collapsed and negotiations ended up taking months. Were that to happen again, the Conservatives have already indicated that they will be waiting in the wings, ready to pick up talks again. Let's get you some uh, background now. DW political correspondent uh, Julia Saudelli is standing by in our parliamentary uh, studio. Good to see you, Julia. So what do these developments suggest to you? Well, this means there is going to be further talking. It's uh, just the initial phase of the coalition building. We've seen these uh, initial talks, uh, bilateral talks between the different parties. Now the parties are together going to enter new exploratory talks, talks that are meant to define the broad uh, common ground that they can agree on. They're going to try to build political consensus. And once they know that they have a foundation on which to build a coalition, they will go into more detailed coalition talks where they will then deal with the nitty gritty, try to find agreement on policies, on uh, new laws that they want to enact, on reforms that they want to put forward. But it will entail a lot of compromise, a lot of willingness to negotiate but the three parties seem confident that they will be able to push that through. And Julia, what are some of the potential stumbling blocks standing in the way of these three parties reaching common ground? So uh, we've seen the Greens and the Social Democrats already before uh, the election saying that they would be uh, glad to govern together and they are the two parties that have the most uh, things in common, the most policy points in common. So the uh, Free Democrats, the business-friendly FDP are a bit of the outlier here. For example, on tax policy, they do not want to raise taxes for anyone in Germany, while the two other parties were saying in the campaign that they wanted to increase taxes on the richer part of the population. In, term, in terms of public spending, the FDP absolutely does not want to increase public spending and especially incurring uh, debt to finance the public spending. The other two parties are more flexible on wanting to maybe increase uh, the debt uh, rate that Germany can incur. 
uh, for um, investment, but uh, the Greens could also pose an issue because they are the uh, most um, active and they want to push the more far-reaching policy to fight climate change, and they will have to try to convince the other two parties to uh, follow their lead on climate change. So there is a lot of uh, need to find compromise and agreement between the three parties. And Julia, what do these talks now mean for Angela Merkel's uh, CDU-CSU bloc? Well, at the moment, it looks like the conservatives have been sidelined in the coalition talks, and it is now looking quite unlikely that they will end up in government this time. Uh, we've, uh, however, heard the Greens and the FTP say that they are not completely closing the door on the conservatives. They said they are still willing to talk to them uh, in the future if these coalition talks were not to be successful with the Social Democrats. And Amin Laschet, the chancellor candidate for the Conservatives, has said he is still open to talks with them in the future. But at the moment, they're going to have to wait on the sidelines and hope that these coalition talks don't go forward. Otherwise, they're likely to be out of the German government. DW political correspondent Julia Saudelli reporting. Thank you very much.